Never mind. You know, you're in the Bible. You're in Revelation. You know, you're in Revelation yelling at people that walk by. And and, and that's not, that's, that's not being a black Jew or Jewish. I mean, you may consider yourself black Jewish and you're the first, whatever, you call us Esau, but that's, that's irrelevant. Because the mark of the beast is coming and is shall come if you believe in Revelation, which you do, because you claim that Jesus is white. I mean, is black, which is false. He's not black. He's got white wool hair and his feet are like brass. Now, you typical, you said his feet are brass and, what, and the color of brass is this. This is the color of brass or close to it. That doesn't mean you're black. You know what that represents his feet? That are brass like that? That represents the Roman army. You got to read your revelation carefully, you black Israelites. Because you're going off the wrong way. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna fall off the cliff. And, you know, they're going to bound you, ban you as slaves. You better believe in Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter what religion you are. As long as you believe in Jesus Christ and the Holy Sacrament and he rose again. You know, you black Israelites make me like feel like, you know, I'm some evil, sat satanic belief when that's not right. I mean, I, I seen that lady that walked by your, your, your congregation in front of, you know, that's terrible. You were calling her uh, all kinds of names uh, and, and everything like that. Believe you me, you guys got to read Revelation or else you're wrong. You're wrong. Because no one's going to get away from God's seven bowls. The Lord's not going to let anybody get away from the, 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 the destruction that's going to happen. And it's not only the United States, it's the whole world. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a black Israelite or you're a Jew or you're Israel or whatever. Whatever you're saying. You know, it, I'm Roman, okay? I'm Roman. So what's 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 that? I'm evil and I'm I'm the devil and I'm gonna kill everybody because they're not Roman. No. Rome will resurrect again and Rome is going. The European army will rise again, and it doesn't. They ain't gonna go by your Israelite. They're gonna throw us in camps. It doesn't matter. You know, if you do not believe in Jesus Christ. You can prove that Jesus is black, white, gray, yellow, curly hair, black hair, whatever. But that is not going to save you from the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is dwelling in the whole entire world. And there is no one who is going to get away with that. No one. And the Antichrist, when he comes, it's not just he, it's a spirit. It's the whole world, the governments, the nations. There is no way you need to repent your sins now and let Jesus come into your lives and open the door for him. If you don't... <sighs> In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I forgive you all. God bless. And it, it really, really doesn't matter if you're an Israelite or if you're a Gentile or you're from Esau or you're from this, that, from the Old Testament. Get with it. You know, Stop claiming you're the, you, that white people are from Esau. That's not true. We're not demons. We're not devil. We're not the devil. 
And Jesus Christ's image, it's white, yes. Maybe it didn't look like that. But it doesn't mean that he was black. It doesn't mean he was white. It doesn't matter. You're not going to get away with it. The beast is coming. The mock. The, the civilization. The civil the, of the whole world. Not just, you know, because you're a black Israelite. Jew or whatever. Even if you prove that you're Jews, you will be the first to die. So keep claiming you are. Jesus don't want to hear you claim that you're an Israelite because you're black. He wants you to claim him. He wants you to have a relationship with him. He doesn't want you to... to to say where the, the Esau or white people are going to die and, and all that. He wants you, you and I to get on our knees and pray to him and believe in the resurrection and the love and the Holy Eucharist of his body and blood of, of him. Everyone who believes in him shall have eternal life. Everyone who don't shall be damned, is already damned. So keep proving that you're a black Israelite Jew and us white people are freaking black, uh, uh, demons and Satan and the Holy Catholic Church is Satan and all this stuff putting horns on our Lord. Keep it up. You'll be the first to go because you do not believe in the Holy Eucharist and in Jesus Christ. I'm sorry to say I forgive you. You know, I am not prejudiced, but that is totally unworthy what you are preaching on the streets of New York or Philadelphia. It is crazy. No one will escape the beast. The beast is the nations, all in all. So, my God, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And I come in peace. I don't want to fight with Jews, black Israelites, yellow people, white people. It doesn't matter. All I know is that the beast, you will not escape. I'm sorry, every person in the whole entire unit world will not escape the wrath that God pours out to seven bowls, seven year tribulation. With the Antichrist or without the Antichrist, the Antichrist is basically governments, a spirit, and demons. And I'm sorry to say, And false prophets, you know, it's got to come. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, the only thing you can do is believe in Jesus Christ. And make sure he takes you, one wanna, wanna, wanna use as his servants. And, and believe and pray. Pray for others. Pray. Do good in your lives. Don't bring people down. Don't judge people. Don't say... You know, if you're white, you're a demon. And, and if you're black, if you're a black Hebrew Jew, you know, you, you call them names. You know, it's just, it's pathetic. God bless.